Salut everyone, welcome back to Unintentionally Frenchified. This is the right place for you if you like everything to do with living in France, foreigners in France, raising kids in Paris, culture shocks, life abroad. So today I'm gonna play what I wanna call my little YouTube game. And I'm gonna go into the search bar of YouTube and I'm gonna type in, why are the French so dot dot dot. And we're going to see what YouTube suggests as the end of my question. So if you guys know anything about auto suggestion, then you know that you most of it's based off of the most popular searches. It's also based off of where you're at as you're you know searching, localization. I think it's based on your past search history as well, but I'm gonna go in a private navigation bar so you won't have any of my past search history. It's based on a lot of things, but a lot of it is the most popular searches. So we're gonna do this in both French and English, and I'm gonna see what English speakers are asking about the French and also what French speakers are asking about themselves. And I will answer the questions unscripted, completely authentic about what I think. And then in the comments, you guys can respond to the questions as well. So if you guys are ready, I have my very handy computer with me so that I can go onto YouTube right now. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, this is a perfect time to do it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notifications when I have new videos every week. And otherwise, I think I'm gonna start with the French. Pourquoi les Français sont? If you're ready, c'est parti. Okay, first one. Pourquoi les Français sont nuls en anglais? So why are the French so bad in English? Ouch. It is true that the French have a really bad reputation for not having a great level of English. I do remember seeing a list, this was a while ago now, like two years ago, but a list of European countries being ranked by their levels of English, and France was last, if not second to last. To be fair, I don't have a super professional response about this because I don't actually know. What I, ha what I do know from my own experience is Northern Europe, I'm talking Norway, Sweden, Denmark, their English is crazy good, I'm impressed. They probably speak better than I do. When I meet Germans, I'm also very impressed by their English. I would say that the French get quite a bad rep because a lot of my generation, people in France speak English quite well. The older generation, not so much. The only thing I would know is the difference is that exposure from a super young age in those countries, from what I've heard, that's not the case in France. And then lots and lots of focus on on hearing so and, and speaking. So lots of listening exercises and lots of speaking exercises. Everyone tells me all the time that learning English in school, it just really wasn't efficient. So it just sounds like it's just based on learning methods. And that's why, you know, France just isn't excelling as much as they are in English. But please let me know in the comments below because I can't say this is something that I feel super expert about, um, but it seems to just be the way they teach it. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt your questions for just a hot second right now to talk to you about Lingoda because as we were just talking about, as long as you have the right motivation and the right tools, anyone, anyone can master a new language. Maybe the French education system is lacking in somewhere of those two things, but I think most of you guys that are watching my videos and could potentially benefit from Lingoda are a little bit past learning a new language in school, or at least primary school, secondary school, and you're ready to learn something and master something a bit more in your adult life. So Lingoda could be a great partner for you. Lingoda is the number one language learning school online and they are also starting a sprint this month. The sprint challenge is seriously the best opportunity and the best option for anybody that is motivated to learn and wants to see results fast. Basically, the sprint challenge has two different paths you can take. Either you take the super sprint, which means you're committing to 30 classes a month for two months. So 30 classes first month, 30 classes second month. And as long as you go to all of your classes, you get 100% cash back. So AKA it is completely free. Or you can decide I want a big commitment, but not that big of a commitment. And so I'm going to do this sprint which is 15 classes a month for two months. So you do 15 the first, 15 the second, and then you get 50% cash back. So you get half off the price of your classes. No matter which path you think is the best one for you, you really go in that simple two months from not being able to speak a language to actually being able to hold down a simple conversation with someone. Anything that what I just said could potentially interest you, 
go check out the YouTube description below. I've got a link there for Lingoda. I also have a discount code for you. It gives you 20 euros or $25 off your deposit for the Sprint Challenge. If you've got the motivation, but you're lacking the right tools, this is the perfect thing for you. Pourquoi les Français sont mons? Why are the French skinny? I've got a couple of videos about this subject. This is a popular one, and I shouldn't be so surprised that it's in the top five. I have a very short, quick answer for you about this. Yes, Parisians are skinny. However, when we talk about France as a whole, this is not true, and if this subject interests you, I'm gonna put the link up to this video where I talk way more into detail about weight in France and weight gain in France, but that's not the case throughout of France. There are a lot of overweight people in France, and well, I don't wanna to compare to the US because the US is very much struggling with obesity. I wouldn't, that's not the case for France yet, but France is definitely struggling with overweight and with a rising population of overweight people. So you shouldn't really say that, why are the French so skinny? It's it's really got to be, why are Parisians so skinny? Pourquoi les Français sont-ils nuls en anglais? So this is just another way to say why are French people so bad in English. I guess it kind of just shows you that the French have a bit, you know, if it's the number one and the number thir three question, it just kind of shows you that you know, it's something that they're self-conscious about. I don't think it's something that, you know, the French are proud of and it's it's something that they would probably like to change. And so it makes you even, I kind of am even more curious why it's not happening. Like, why do you guys think that the French aren't able to be, you know, have a higher level of English? You know, I guess we're gonna have to ask our French, anyone who's been educated in France about it and what you guys think, or anyone who's teachers maybe in France, it'll be good to get your point of view. Pourquoi les Français sont-ils si fiers de leur cuisine? Why are the French so proud of their cooking? Um, because it's fracking amazing. I feel like anybody asking this question clearly hasn't bitten into a warm, buttery croissant on a Sunday morning, or had like a pastry from a pastry shop, or, or anything about, you know, French cooking. I don't know, sometimes I kind of feel like, why are the French so proud of their cooking? Because they have a right to be, because you know it's something that they're really good at. I mean, personally, I come from the US. The US are like absolute kings of saying like, they are world champions of whatever sport that only the US is playing in. So we're the world championships. Like this is the world championships of baseball. I am a world champion because I won a tournament, a baseball tournament where I only played against Americans. Well, it's not really the world, right? So I feel like at least the French, when it comes to their like cuisine, that they have a right to be proud that usually they're ranked in everything that I see. The top three countries a lot of times are Chinese, Italian, and French. And the French are always vying for that first place, you know, in that, that top three. So I kind of think they have a right to be. What do you guys think? Pourquoi les Français sont de gauche mais votent à droite? <laughs> good one. I'm not normally, you know, super political um, and I probably wouldn't have normally addressed this, but I guess I'm stuck in my own game. You know, I shouldn't be so surprised this question is coming up in the top five because in France, we had presidential elections in May. We've got legislative elections going on right now. So it kind of makes sense in terms of popular searches that this would be in here. So why are the French left but seem to be voting right? I think this just comes down to the fact that when you talk to the population, the French population as a whole, about things around social welfare, so I'm thinking about candidates, you know, ideas when they talk about retirement age at 65, when they talk about, you know, minimum salary, things like this, that often the French tend to be more, um, you know, left wing in their thinking and, and what they want. But then when it comes down to the actual voting, it's it's right wing that's been winning uh, in the last you know five years, and so it kind of makes people wonder like why do the polls show that the whole you know country agrees on these things that are very left, but then at the end of the day, somebody who's quite right is running in power. So I'll leave it to you guys to take it farther in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna switch to English right now, but we had some great questions that came down like not in the top five, so I didn't get to answer them that I thought were really good. Like, why are the French never excited? Why are the French so intelligent? <laughs> why are French films so terrible? And another stab at why their English is so bad. The French really have a thing about this. So if you guys like this type of video, I could absolutely do another one. So really let me know in the comments below if you guys think this is a good one. We could do a round two. Uh, but otherwise, let's move to the English one. Okay, number one, why are the French so slim? Okay, well this would be like our first 
crossover winner here since I already talked about it in the last one. Okay, why are the French so bad at war? was not expecting that one. I'm not a military expert here. This is really going outside of my expertise, so I'm counting on you guys in the comments to either back me up or tell me absolutely not or just give us some some more expert info here. I would say that this is really an image thing and I would say that it's an image thing in like the last 100 years. I mean, France has been a long, around or what was France or what became France has been around for so long and they have won lots of battles and lost lots of battles just like you know every other country usually has in their history and I just think that if we look probably the last a hundred years we look at World War One we look at World War Two there were some defeats for the French that were hard for them and I think that were hard for the rest of the world to watch as well and so maybe that's what's giving that impression now that the French aren't quote-unquote good at war um, but I mean, I would totally, totally disagree if you take the hundreds of years that the French have been battling, I, well, you could probably prove that they are quite strong at war <laughs> when it comes down to it. But I think that's just, you know, an image maybe in, in our generation or our, our parents or grandparents' generation. Next one. Why are the French so good at MTB? Uh, what the hell is MTB? Ah, haha, ha, mountain biking. No idea. I feel like I am not so much of an expert when it comes to some of these questions in English. Um, I don't know. I guess I can only imagine because there is a plethora of mountains, <laughs> like in France. It's like a huge playground for everybody to learn to bike on. Um, also, when you think of the Tour de France, I know it's not. I don't think we would consider that mountain biking specifically, but I mean, there's a huge, huge cycling like federation, very strong in France. I feel like a lot of hype around cycling. I don't know, I never got that opinion that it was the same in the US, but maybe it just was like outside of my, you know, bubble of, of what I knew, but I didn't feel like mountain biking was as big or biking, not necessarily mountain biking, biking. I feel like biking is big here. Um, so I'm gonna leave that to the experts in the comments or I can do some research on my own <laughs> and let you guys, I'll answer below, but I would assume that it's popular just based on the fact that they've got lots of mountains that they can they can practice on but if that's the case then you think maybe in the US it's just as popular and I just didn't realize it okay two left why are the French so romantic oh, the romantic French I love this one because I do agree with it the French are so romantic I think there are more reasons than you could you know possibly count about how romantic they are I don't know if it's the passion, I don't know if it's the sexy accent, I don't know if it's, you know, the lack of prude, <coughs> my Americans, uh, you know, so open about things. I don't know if it's the way that they're able to share, you know, their feelings compared to Anglo-Saxons. I don't know if it's just the way that they love love. I mean, I just feel like there's too many reasons to count. So tell us in the question, in the comments, you know, what you guys think is the reason why they're so romantic. But the burning question is, are Frenchmen the most romantic men in the world? That is up for debate. Let's wrap it up with the final one. Number 10, why are the French so attractive? I mean, a lot of that's probably based on the last question that I was saying, but I think someone who's attractive, that very much depends on, on who is actually answering the question because we all have a bit, you know, see beauty in a different way. But I would say one thing that's commonly found attractive by everybody is how confident like confidence is something that attracts a lot of people. And I feel like the French tend to be very confident. I mean, one of the stereotypes about French is, you know, how superior they think they are and how sure of themselves that they are. And maybe just this like owning up to themselves and just loving a bit who they are. Maybe it's that confidence that, that makes them so attractive. And also the French are known for being pretty stylish. So is it maybe the fact that a lot of them are stylish too, along with the confidence? I mean, I guess for me, that would be it. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the video. I would love to hear what you guys thought, answer any of the questions that I was giving you guys in the comments below. If you are interested in Lingoda, don't forget to look at the YouTube description below. You've got that link there. You've got the 20 euros, the $25 off the deposit. Go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will find you in the comments below and I will also see you la semaine prochaine. Bisous.